Okay, here we are. I'm going to attempt to demonstrate what I did with tire gardening. I uh, collected some old tires. Uh, you can see some of them here that I that I, uh, I used. Uh, first time in my experience to do tire gardening. What I did is on car tires is uh, I would I would cut out uh, sidewall like this. If the knife is good and sharp, you can cut that in a minute or two. Just cut it around, and you you end up with a piece like this that that comes uh, comes out of the tire. And so then this front side is open. I, I closed the the bottom with some boards, or you can use whatever material one would want to use. But then I closed the bottom, and that uh, then I end up with a kind of large flower pot. Another idea that I wanted to do for gardening that for small narrow spaces where people are very limited for space, I cut the tires <coughs> in, uh, I cut a slice out of them <coughs> like this and I cut another one on that side and I'd, I'd use those two pieces to uh, to make a, a garden in, in a more narrow space. Uh, just show you what happened when I did that. Um, here are some illustrations of of uh, what how they how they turned out. Um, let me grab one of these. <coughs> what I what I was thinking of was that they could be set up at the edge of a patio or or wherever where people are limited for space. That they could set them up in sequence like this. I didn't finish building a a place to to put them but that was that was the idea um, got some some lettuce growing in some of these some parsley and uh, uh, cucumber and and uh, so that was another idea but I it didn't work really well because there's a lot of wire in the in the in, in the front part of a tire and also in the uh, the inner part here there's quite a lot of wire so it was uh, it gave me quite a hard time to to uh, to cut them that way. I still want to try and find a way to do it because I, I think there'd be a, a, a it'd be a good way to use tires in a, in a different way. Uh, here I just start uh, plants from seedlings and then transplant them out into larger areas. It's just easier to maintain and and uh, get those get the plants started. The uh, those that have very small seeds. So yeah, that's what I use those for. Let's move over to the. How much time do we have? <laughs> uh, here's what I what I did when I after I had the tires uh, cut out, I set this one up in in three different levels. Again, to use smaller spaces, uh, people can use it on their patios or or whatever. Uh, in this one, I've got uh, lettuce. Uh, starting out uh, just uh, uh, two weeks uh, two weeks ago, and then we've got uh, broccoli and some cauliflower, and uh, and you get up to the top. Come on, come on this side of the uh, there's uh, tomatoes. So yeah, that's so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm. It's kind of an experiment because like obviously the sun is. Is uh, you'll have have to have a lot of exposure so that the sun can get at it from from all sides because uh, and and we'll see how it, how it'll work. This one here I used larger truck tires, <coughs> and again it gave me quite a hard time to cut. I cut that with a with a, a skill saw or a circular saw um, uh, with a uh, carbon tip blade. You can see it got kind of jaggedy and and it has some burred edges with uh, with wire, which is is uh, not ideal. I'm still hoping to use some silicone or something to cover that up with, so you don't uh, doesn't, uh, hurt one's fingers. The, I haven't planted anything in that one yet, but in the next one here, what I did is used also a large truck tire, and I cut uh, square holes. I've got eight square holes. Can you get a focus yeah. of of uh, on on the top? Of, and I put tomato plants inside. The, I filled it with with soil, and. This one I've got it's it's open in the in the in the middle so that the sun can also get through to the to the bottom 
layer and I, I close the inside of the tire up with a, with a smaller tire so, so that the soil is all contained inside inside the tire just has these holes. And I, I think it should work well for tomatoes because they can vine down over the edge and stuff and uh, uh, it should be interesting to see how that, uh, that turns out. This one here I used only one tire. Uh, it was the first one I did actually and, and so um, just used one and it has it'll have better uh, exposure to, to sun. Uh, we'll see how if that works out works out better. I put plastic uh, over the, the top because we're getting an awful lot of rain. It's the rainy season here in Guatemala, and and so I, I covered them with plastic so that because otherwise we just end up with like a tremendous amount of of water inside these uh, pots that the plants really don't need. So this is these are strawberries. I just transplanted them uh, um, maybe five days ago or so. So uh, there are some of them are still are struggling a little to get get started. But uh, anyway, there yeah that's strawberries. So. Yeah, that's my entire gardening story.